With that, let's uh, shift our focus towards uh, Biocon. Among the top FNO losers today, the company recently report reported largely below estimate numbers in the second quarter. We caught up with their group CEO, Peter Baines. He spoke about the business outlook and also uh, the performance of biosimilars itself. Let's hear him out. We're very pleased with the progress we're making with the transition of the Viatris business. Uh, and in the quarter, we completed the transition in the United States, obviously a very major market. And we're on track to complete the transition in Europe and the remaining emerging markets before the end of this fiscal. So making very good progress there. And delighted, I think, to see the traction that we're getting with the major brands, both in the United States and in Europe. So, for example, with Fulfiller, which is uh, Biologics Pegfil Grastin, we saw market share increase from 11% to 19%, with Trastuzumab from 10% to 12%, and with the assembly glargine from 9% to 11%. So that demonstrates the real power and strength of the commercial engine in the United States. And in Europe, we saw a similar pattern with market share improvements across the portfolio of assets, which augurs well for Europe for the future. And of course, that was supported by growth in the emerging markets, particularly in the insulins. So we're very pleased with the progress we're making. We still got work to do, particularly in Europe, which is more complex, but uh, we were on track to complete the, the transition before the end of the year. The reason for that is just really um, tightening the focus of, of, of our uh, business around our core therapy areas. So nephrology and dermatology were non-core, so we're going to focus on our core areas. And the use of funds, uh, you know, will largely be to offset the debt that we have. We're looking at a number of, of options there. So, uh, you know, we, we have already uh, taken down the debt at some level through structured equity. That remains an option. But there are a number of other levers that, that we're looking at as well. And we'll be working through that, I think, and uh, reducing the debt uh, level that we have over the coming quarters. Thank you.